I'm Everett Skinner IV and today we're just starting a brand new timber frame barn on display at our Ellington location. It's going to be all authentic posts and beam, timber frame construction. We're excited to get it started. We have the foundation in place and this foundation is going to be beautiful. We have a nice stamped concrete floor. It's made to look like barn boards so that'll help with the authentic feel of the whole project. All of our timber frame barns are all interconnected what we call joinery. Joinery is the art of connecting timbers together using only wood connections. So it's mortise and tenon, all oak pegs, all these components we pre-build in our shop using a state-of-the-art CNC timber cutting machine. Everything is done precisely to the hundredth of an inch. All the tenons are cut perfect, rounded over. The holes to receive the oak pegs are all cut. So this that you see right here, this arch piece, this is a through mortise. So all this meat was taken out of this tie beam to protrude through. We put a nice curved edge on it for a beautiful look. And in the end, once we get the barn completed, we'll take these oak wedges and wedge these in like so to really tighten up this joint and make sure it does not go anywhere. So even though the joinery with the oak pegs looks beautiful, sometimes it's just not strong enough. In certain joints, we actually are gonna be inserting steel plates and hidden pockets within the bends. Steel plates and we actually have a steel peg that goes through to hold the joints together. This is a joint that's under heavy tension load. It would never be able to be achieved with just a wood peg. We undergo a strict structural analysis to figure all this out and make sure the barn is gonna last for generations to come. This barn has four main bents. Right now we've got three of them completed. What a bent is, it's the main structural carrying system of the timber frame. So the raising day is almost, is always the most fun for us. Basically all these bents will just get stood right up into place. You'll see how on the post here, we have this again, mortise and tenon out. This will drop right into the round hole. We put a peg through and it is locked in place. Today we're gonna to be raising our 32 by 32 timber frame barn here in Ellington on display. It's gonna be an exciting day. Let's do this, fellas. Woo! making good progress on raising day. We've got three of the four bents already set up right now. We're setting floor joists, getting the top plate set up. Let's go on and take a look. So as you can see, the floor joists are starting to lock in place up top. What we're doing is we're setting the top plate. That's actually the structural beam where all the rafters will sit. And you can see right there too with the connection, our joinery details, how we reinforce them with steel. You can see the steel plate sticking out. Everything. All the steel is always all concealed when we're done, and it makes for a very structural sound building. You'll see here, you can start to see the braces, the arch braces take place. It just gives a nice flowing feel to the barn and adds a lot of class to the interior. All the braces are mortised right into the post. You can see they're also housed too. All of the pressure is not only bearing on the tenon, but bearing also on the post itself, very important. So moving around the front, you can already see that we have a door frame. There's a space for a transom window that's gonna be above it. These are gonna be a nice, beautiful swing out double door.
We're making good progress. We have two more rafters to go. And you can see the precision, how tight all the joints are. And once this rafter is locked in, it's not going anywhere. So we have one more to go. The gable truss is next, and the barn raising is just about complete. Well, it looks like the extra design time behind the scenes paid off. Everything fit together just perfect. So it's a timber framing tradition to top out the new structure with an evergreen tree. To us, it's a symbol of gratefulness and respect. Gratefulness for the forest that produced the wood, gratefulness for a safe raising day, and also, of course, a symbol of good luck for everyone who enters the new barn. Raising day is done, the barn is fully standing, and that's what us as carpenters love most about timber framing, is seeing the naked frame against the blue sky, and is just a beautiful sight. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to come check out this timber frame barn in Ellington for yourself. At the barn, it all starts in the shop, from our CNC machines, to our designing, to our engineering, and of course, being erected on site with our own crews. It is a one-of-a-kind timber frame barn. You're never gonna see any more complex joinery, construction details, anywhere but here as a beautiful barn. So we know timber framing is a lost art, but we appreciate it, we appreciate the trade, we appreciate it as craftspeople ourselves, and we're trying to keep the tradition alive. All right, nice job, fellas. Woohoo! God well done! <laughs> Well, the raising is now complete. We're making excellent progress. Let's go take a look. The next step is to start enclosing the structure. As you can see here, we've already got a nice start on the, the ceilings. We use all the premium grade one by eight. It's a V-groove decking. And all of our timber frames, there's no plywood. Everything is finished with a nice one by eight Eastern white pine decking. From the foundation, to the site work, to the frame, to the enclosure system, all the way up to the roofing, the barnyard does it all. All right, so we're up on the second floor of the 22 by 32 timber frame barn. You'll see all of our floor joists, they're four by eight floor joists, and they're all dovetailed into the main carrying beam itself. And what that does, it allows for more headroom upstairs. This will be the finished floor of the barn. This is a, a premium grade Eastern white pine decking. We'll put a nice finish on this to make it last for generations to come. With all of our timber frame barns, the timber frame does not stop at the wall plates. The roof rafters are also made out of four by eight roof rafters. Everything is true mortise and tenon at the collar ties with the oak pegs. Up top, you can see a detail of what we call the tongue and fork rafter connection. One of the main benefits of our timber frame services is we actually do a full model, not only of the completed structure, but also just of the frame itself. So with this model, you can actually see the frame, see the joinery, see the details come inside, and you know exactly what to expect. The carriage barn is now complete. It took us a week and a half to build. Everything is finalized. Let's go take a look, see how it turned out. Everything about this carriage barn is authentic, right down to the details with the doors and the windows. These doors here were all handmade by our craftsmen. 
you'll notice the authentic oak latches and the antique strap hinges and hardware that were hand hammered. It's an authentic door topped off with a beautiful transom window above. Just something you would have seen with an 1800s barn. And now the best part about our post and beam barns, let's go take a look at the inside. You'll remember at the beginning of construction we had 284 pieces and 230 oak pegs. Well now everything is complete and in place and look at the beauty. I'll focus up on this joint which is our Dutch anchor beam tenon. You'll see how that finished off with the oak wedges and the nice through mortise with the curve that was precisely cut with our CNC timber machine. All the design, all the engineering and all of our precision has paid off. Everything is connected with true mortise and tenon joinery throughout, all oak pegs. You come in here and it is unbelievable. You just look up and look at all the joinery and the timbers, it is absolutely beautiful. And everywhere you look, you see the heavy timbers. On the ceiling, you'll notice the heavy duty floor joists. The ceiling boards are all a one by eight tongue and groove. This carriage barn is two stories, and I know you all wanna see the second floor, so let's go check it out. And here we are, look how bright it is up on the second floor. One of the nice features of our carriage barns is they all feature a three foot knee wall above the second floor. What this does is creates a very usable room where you can almost walk almost right to the edge of the room and get the full usable floor space. You'll notice that we use all heavy timber rafters. You can see them here with the finished pine v groove ceiling up on the second floor. You can see again just our precision and our joinery even of this member here which we take the timber and curve it with a perfect radius to fit our bow top window. These windows are all authentic true divided light. At the barnyard we're honored to carry out the tradition of building post and beam barn just the way our forefathers did hundreds of years ago. If you're thinking about a post and beam barn continue to explore our website. The next step would be give us a call or even better stop by one of our showcase locations to see the post and beam barns on display for yourself. The barnyard and great country garages. Builders, designers, engineers.